Hey guys, welcome back to my gaming channel. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the new subscribers, the likes, the comments. I appreciate you guys so much. Today we're doing Alice in Wonderland. As you can see, I made my character look more like Alice with the blue eyes and this little Tom dress that I made. And we are in our forest. So I did have an Alice in Wonderland build that I already did about a year and some change ago when we first started playing the game. So now we're gonna tear it down and kind of rebuild it. So let's Let's start. I'm going to start by just getting rid of stuff and kind of starting from scratch but using some of the items we still have in the build. I'm going to start by removing a lot of the florals in the area and then I'm going to start by getting rid of a lot of these chairs because now we have a lot of new furniture items in the game and I want to update the food on the table as well as a lot of the chairs and furniture that is around our tea party. So to replace the chairs, I'm going in with a lot of the pink chairs. We have the fancy desk chairs, we have the thrones. I wanted a lot more pink and my vibe is like pink, purple, blue. That's kind of like the color scope of the Alice in Wonderland tea party. It is more pastel, but we're gonna use what we have, girl. You get the point. So we're using a lot more of the throne chairs and the more fancy pink chairs in the game. And when you're putting your chairs down, make sure you have enough space to walk through and to sit because if you can't walk through or sit, your characters won't either. So make sure that there's enough space. We're also using some of the Little Mermaid uh, purple chairs as well. And for the rug, you might be thinking where that rug is from. Those are rugs I made with the Tom tool. Really easily, I just used one of the flourishes in white on top of like this brown burgundy shade. And that's really it, nothing spectacular. I just try to recreate kind of what the rug looks like when you look up photos for inspiration of the Mad Hatter Tea Party aesthetic. So now I'm just looking through and checking what it looks like, as well as making sure that I can run through and pulling all the chairs out so we can properly run through them and see what it looks like. I'm also gonna add some of the tulip lamps to the table as well, because when I first made this build, I didn't have those. As you can see on the table, I have books, I have cakes. So just make all the treats that you want, like the Wonderland cookies. I also have one of the Little Mermaid lamps on the table, the chess game on the table, um, one of the sewing machines, and some teapots. I also have some books, as well as the Aurora cakes and one of the wedding cakes in the middle. Now I'm gonna use the Beauty and the Beast pillar as a little mm, head of the table kind of vibe. So as you can see, I have the main heads of the tables capped with the big, the big chairs. And then we're gonna use the Beauty and the Beast pillars on the main head of the table. I am gonna get rid of this blue light as it doesn't really match the vibe. I decided to keep the purple lighting as it looks so pretty at sunset, which you guys will see, and it just really complements the whole aesthetic of this build. If you didn't know, we have some new cupcake recipes, and these cupcakes actually sparkle when you pass by them. So I wanted to create some of the new Eternity Isle foods, like the pink glazed donuts, as well as some of the new cupcakes. So I made some of the mermaid cupcakes because they sparkle, and I wanted to add some of the sparkly foods to our table to give it a really magical vibe. So as you can see on the table, we have the cupcakes and they sparkle and it looks so pretty. And of course, like I mentioned before, if there's enough space for you to walk through, the, the characters will as well. So I see a lot of characters in this build a lot because there's a lot going on. There's chairs, there's books, there's lights, there's games. There's a lot of things for them to do. Next, I'm going to go back in with the festive pennants. Pen I can't say this word, but like the festive little purple banner. And I thought it looked so cute on the side, kind of as a head of the table thing, because it kind of looks like where Mad Hatter would sit. And it just gives this vibe of like a main entrance and a, you know, like a party. 
Now I'm gonna add more of the tulip planters. I just love the pastel vibe that this gives as well as the pastel blue, yellow, and pink balloon bundles. I only did two of those just because if you do too many, it can look a little more like a birthday party rather than a tea party. But I love the pastel tones of those balloons. It just really adds to that tea party aesthetic. We're also going to add some of the blue gift boxes as well as some teapots and books, whatever little items you want to add as decor to really ramp up and add that little tea party vibe. I'm also adding two of the um, pink lamp posts. excuse me, I added four of the pink lamp posts as well as some of the Beauty and the Beast candelabras for extra glow. It just makes it look so magical. And those I'm just adding in different areas. Make sure to test where you add them that you can still walk and they don't stop you from using the build. Also, we're adding some of the tall enchanted candelabras, again, just for added glow. And we're gonna walk through to make sure that we can walk. And whenever there's a little kink, we move things around to make sure it's still a practical build. I can still mine in this area, so it's still practical, but it looks really, really cute. Now I want to make it feel a lot more cozy, so we're going to go and add more trees to make it feel enclosed. I really like the feeling of an enclosed area, so we're going to add butterfly flowers as well as some more trees. And for the water, we're going to add lily pads and some of the swan boats. I do want it to feel enclosed without completely covering it, but I do like the feeling that this is our enchanted forest and you're gonna find all these little fairy tales in the different parts of the forest. So if you saw my fairy godmother build, you saw what the beginning of the build looks like. Merlin's house, fairy godmother's house, my enchanted Cinderella castle. And now you're gonna come across the Alice in Wonderland build. So it's kind of like a fairy tale vibe where you walk around in all these little nooks of the enchanted forest, you see other fairy tale stories and it looks so cute. So I'm adding fir trees, maple trees to really enclose the entire area. So it feels like you're in this little hidden corner of the forest. So at this point, I added a bunch of pink bioluminescent flowers, and this is what it looks like when it's dark. It looks so freaking pretty. I also just went over the top with the flowers, and I really wanted this area to look super glowy and magical because the colors and everything at night, I just love how it pops, and it also matches, again, the rest of our builds. If you want to see my fairy godmother build, I will link it. Go check it out. It is really, really beautiful and it adds a similar vibe as this. So it really matches that build. And here's what it looks like at sunset. I love, love, love the glow. I also added another one of the Aurora Cakes as decor. And this is the final look. I am obsessed with how it looks. 
apparently the forgetting is obsessed as well honey she is just like obsessed with the bill she can't get away i tried to push her away but she is obsessed but here's how it looks with my little bunny companion i am obsessed with this build i think it's so cute i'm thinking about using it for my dream snap this week and just adding like um uh some type of hat to it and i don't know i love it so so much i think it's so cute i love 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 the aesthetic and i i hope you guys enjoy it leave me a comment let me know if you're gonna do this let me know if you like it don't forget to like comment subscribe i love you guys so so much thank you for all the views the comments the likes i love you guys thank you thank you thank you and i'll see you in the next one